Hi there, Mark, your distance education librarian here to talk about how you can download electronic books or ebooks from a subscription that UNB has called eBrary so that you can use these ebooks on your personal computer without having to be logged into the internet or have to deal with the sometimes aggravating lag when you're paging between different pages and moving back and forth in a book so that the book is basically just on your computer and you don't have to worry about anything. So you can download a book for a couple of weeks, use it however you please. Here we are at www.lib.unb.ca, the library homepage, and we're going to search UNB WorldCat for ebooks here. First we just do a general search. Let's just say we put in Trinidad and let's say education. So from our search results we want to limit what we see amongst the thousand or so items that have been retrieved which would include books and journal articles videos even all sorts of things under format we're gonna li limit to ebooks and let's say we will take a look at this first one strengthening the education sector response to HIV and AIDS in the Caribbean we click on view now and then view ebook it opens the ebook and the first thing that we're going to want to do in order to download the book is to sign in. So you have to create an account if you don't already have one. And over here on the upper right, we click on sign in. I already have an account, but if you don't, you would click on create an account. Choose a username and a password. Put in your first name and last name. And finally, an email address preferably your UNB email, email address if you use it and know what it is. So I'm just going to go back to the login screen since I do have a login and punch it in here. And we're back to the book. Bear in mind that you don't necessarily have to download the book. You could page through it easily enough. You can even go to different sections of the book. You can download an eBrary reader which provides some additional functionality but essentially you can use the book as is. However what we're going to want to do is download it to our computer by clicking download. Here we could actually also if we wanted to do some printing of a maximum of 44 pages and the amount of pages that a book will allow you to download will vary from one book to the next. But what we want to actually do is download the document. And what it's going to do is download it in a format that can only be read by one piece of software, and it is called Adobe Digital Editions. It's from the same company that brings you Adobe Acrobat Reader, which you use to read PDFs online and on your computer. So we're going to click on Adobe, Adobe Digital Editions here. It's going to take us to a website which enables us to download now in, no, we don't really want to give feedback, thanks, in either Macintosh or Windows format. I'm on a Windows computer at the moment, so that's what I'm going to click on. And I've noticed sometimes it will ask you to choose a region uh, North America, South America, all sorts of things. Uh, this isn't necessarily all that important. All you want to do is be able to get to the place where you can save the installer. And that installer will download wherever it is on your computer that files download, be it your desktop or in a special downloads folder. Now on my computer it is in a downloads folder. So I'm going to click on it here to run the installer for Adobe Digital Editions. I click Run. This may look a little different depending on the computer, particularly if you're on a Mac. I accept the terms. It gives you some options for whether you want to have a quick launch icon. 
And let's just say I'm okay with all of that. I keep tabbing through until I can actually install. And we see it's gone all the way through. And I click close. I suspect it's going to want to open the software right away. I'm just going to close it for now because I'm not actually going to use it just yet. Because I haven't downloaded the book yet. So I just brought that window back up, which I hadn't closed. It had just gone to the back of the desktop view. So I click download the entire document for 14 days in Adobe Digital Editions format, which we've downloaded. And so I click OK. And save file. So again, that's going to go actually in the same folder as my Adobe Digital Editions installer had. So I'll go back to my downloads. It doesn't have a really obvious name. You'll just have to know that it's in this sort of format with numbers and an extension at the end of ACSM. So if I double click it, it's going to open Adobe Digital Editions and slowly bring up our document. And here it is on the desktop. You wouldn't need a an internet connection at this point to use it. You may, at the first time that you open Adobe Digital Editions, be asked to register the software, and there is an option to view books without registering. So it's up to you what you want to do there. And that's it. mbragdon at unb.ca is my email. Any questions, feel free to contact me. Have a great day.